What's going on guys, Zenos here and today I'm bringing this video to you guys on the guide out super enhanced yes finally i am here to give you a insight on what sort of thing is super enhancing how your units can actually get more powerful through super enhancing all right this is a very recent mechanic that has been introduced in aeroflight not really too long ago okay so i'm pretty happy that the aeroflight is actually improving the contents of this uh, gaming system so that we can actually fight much better all right so in order to get into the super enhancing part all you need to do is click on a gear and go into the enhanced part and then there you go you can see the super enhance okay the first of all the main thing first okay first of all you really need to get make sure that your gear is at least of epic or a legendary grade all right if it's not on epic or legendary grade then you won't be able to super enhance it okay so uh epic or legend okay you might be asking me like what is an epic and legendary uh you know like gears okay epic gear refer to those kind of gears which you know, like by birth or let's say by origin have already have like three sub stats okay or let's say three additional stats and when you are talking about the legendary gear by birth or by origin they already have like four sub stats okay obviously when you start to like uh, upgrade any gear they will slowly start to gain the sub stats or the additional stats as you enhance them right but the thing is that like those kind of gears may not be truly epic gear or legendary gear a true epic gear or legendary gear when it, when they are like at plus zero enhancement level they still have those like three or four okay uh additional or sub stats now that that are the gears that we are talking about one example is this one guys look at this this is a true epic gear all right and uh, this one is also true epic gear uh, do i have a true legendary gear okay this one this one is also a true legendary gear guys i mean like only at plus three uh, it's all already having like four sub stats okay most of the time if you really don't have good gear at plus three you are only getting like one sub stat at a time so that's what is really gonna differ okay so uh, that's said and done uh, next thing is that uh, like you need to enhance your gear to max of plus 15 right away before uh, I'm mean, like you cannot super enhance your gears before you can take uh, before you take them to plus 15 okay so this one cannot be super enhanced if I click on the super enhance what it says that super enhance is only available for the following gear six star yes it needs to be that is like saying uh, you know like uh, yeah six star grade okay and the next thing is like plus 15 enhance or higher okay and the next thing is origin grade should be epic or higher okay that means epic or legendary all right so those are the things that you really need to uh you know like fulfill or that's uh, those are the like minimum requirement for your gear in order to be super enhanced okay so now let's move on to this gear which can actually be super enhanced okay okay so uh as i told you before only epic gear okay the rare cannot be actually super enhanced let's try to go enhance and super enhance okay it says no it's not possible okay even though it's like a plus 15 it's not possible so that's the thing rare okay those cannot be done this one also can be super enhanced this also can be super enhanced now this actually can be super enhanced okay go enhance and you can super enhance but the thing is that like i lack material right over here all right so you will need to have the material as well and now there is also a specific requirement for the material as well all right uh in order to use them for super enhancing you uh you have you are being warned here right now guys if you use another gear as the material that material will that gear will vanish okay so before you use any gear as a material gear you really need to make sure that like are you gonna need that gear later on and to equip to your servants if so don't use them as a, uh, you know like material gear uh, in order to super enhance your original gear but if like you are okay with like you know like sacrificing that material gear then it's okay use them uh, in order to you know feed to your main gear all right next thing is uh material gear also has specific requirements okay now let's talk about that one you do not have a material gear needed for enhance it says metal gear must meet the following requirements okay these are the main four requirements that you need to possess okay first thing it needs to be a six star six star meaning like you know one two three four five six okay the, the, six star meaning the grade of the gear okay how many stars does it have initially okay initially it needs to have six stars all right or else you won't be able to super enhance it next thing is gear part okay 
Meaning like this is a necklace, right? Gear parts refers to like this is weapon, this is shirt, this is pants, this is you know like necklace, and this is like gloves, helmet, shoes, and ring, right? So these are called the gear parts. Meaning like you cannot use the gear part of different category to fit to a gear of different category. All right, let's say I have a material that of the like uh, you know like let's say a weapon. I cannot fit a weapon to a necklace to super enhance it. You get it? I need a necklace to super enhance a necklace okay so you need to match that one as well next thing is origin grade okay so the origin grade it should be like uh, kind of same but uh, okay this is a little bit tricky origin grade refers to like epic or legendary all right so uh right over here as you can see right over here so let's say i want to super enhance these shoes okay havoc shoes so what do i need to do uh in order to super enhance my havoc shoes I need to have a legendary shoe okay like let's see right over here now I have this shoe right over here as a material all right obviously you really don't need to max it out okay even if it's like just at plus zero level I mean like enhancement level it's fine you can use it as a material the enhancement level really actually do not matter over here all right it only matters for the main material not for the like you know the usable or let's say the fodder material all right so right over here the legendary legendary it matches yes it needs to match all right legendary legendary it matches and the next thing is that like part okay are those of like the same gear part this one is of like shoe and this is also shoe so yes it matches and next thing that you really need to match is the main stat all right it, the main stat right over here is def plus 63 percent and the next thing is that the main stat over here is also def percentage okay not the flat stats but the percentage stat it needs to be exactly the same all right but you know like it can be of different uh in enhancement level it really doesn't matter but they need to be of the same category all right the same type and then after that you can actually use that material into the you know like uh taking them into the uh uh, super enhancing part okay you can use them as the material but thing is like let's say I have legendary right and can I use an epic gear in order to uh, upgrade my legendary gear the thing is no okay I, you can see right over here I do have a epic gear all right uh, which is of like the main stat is def percentage and thing is that like it's of like uh, shoe right the thing is that like when I try to super enhance my legendary uh, legendary shoe the thing is that like it's really not gonna show up right over here meaning like you cannot use it but the tricky thing is that like if you are really trying to upgrade or super enhance your epic gear okay thing is that like you can use the legendary gear okay now that's <laughs> that's the funny part okay like let's say right over here I think I do have Okay, not that one uh, maybe this one <laughs> holy crap okay okay I didn't have this one as well this one as well let's see let's see let's see let's see okay this one this one is epic oh yes yes right over here so see right over here it says it's an epic gear okay and when I try to enhance it what happens is that like I can use a legendary gear the thing is that like you know the bonus stats that it's gonna offer are pretty much still low okay meaning if you ha already have a legendary gear okay like le le let's say this one if you already have a legendary gear and then you are trying to fit another legendary gear to super enhance it the thing is that like the bonus stats that you are gonna receive is comparatively high than compared to that of the epic gear in com you know like you know like in terms of like epic gear like they actually receive a little bit of like lower you know like uh, enhancement category whenever you are trying to actually you know um, super enhance them okay it's like just two to five percent to the five percent or something like that and when you are actually uh, using a legendary gear it's instead of this uh, 2.2 to five percent you are actually getting four to nine percent like something like that okay so that is the difference uh, let's say if you are really having a lot of epic gears then it is a wise idea to use the epic gears on that one as well please don't use the legendary gear all right please don't use the legendary gear so in this case I am never gonna use the legendary gear in order to feed to an epic gear for right now all right but if you already are having an excess of it because like you are farming too much in the omen and hit 12 floor then that can be a different case scenario but most of the time please feed the legendary to only a legendary and epic can be fed to an epic okay uh, where you know like just for the uh, you know like optional thing a legendary can also be fed to a main epic gear as well but that is not really that you know um so now that said what we can talk about the next thing is now 
let's move on to the main you know like uh upgrading okay so let's try to enhance the main upgrade gears okay so let's try to enhance this one so uh this one is right over here and then i can use this as a material and now when i am going to do the super enhancing like what kind of changes does my gear go through okay so before plus 15 used to be the highest level a gear could achieve in terms of enhancement all right but with this super enhancing mechanic the enhancement level of my gear can actually go to plus 19 okay meaning like you can upgrade you can further upgrade your gear up to plus 4 okay plus 15 plus 4 that would be plus 19 isn't it so you will be requiring four gears all right four sacrificial gears in order to complete your super enhance the next thing is that like whenever you are actually uh, you know like trying to super enhance your gear what you are gonna do is or what you are gonna see is that like uh, you have to make sure first okay you have to make sure that are you satisfied with the substats or the additional stats provided over here okay if you are not satisfied please convert it first okay you know like do the conversion as long as you can or as frequent as you can in order to get or you know like to attain the desired substat that you are actually looking for like let's say for a uh, you know like uh, attack based servant or let's say uh, you know like dps servant um the best gear that is suited is like obviously having the substats that's having critical rate boost attack uh, attack percent is boost critical damage boost uh, you know like uh, speed boost okay if you are already getting that kind of like substats okay and those gears belong to a DPS servant then that would be perfect isn't it and that would be the gear that you want to go and take them to the further enhancement level which we call the super enhancing and next thing is that like if you have already progressed okay if you just have like super enhanced your gear already the thing is that like you cannot convert them anymore okay so that is a big big problem all right you cannot convert them anymore meaning like you cannot reshuffle your excellent stats also of stats now that is a big problem so uh, guys, you really need to make sure that you are very satisfied and content with your additional stats and substats before you super enhance, okay? You have been warned. And now, let's, okay, let's say right now I am actually pretty happy with I have got here, okay? I mean, like, I was actually looking forward to get, like, let's say I speed stats as well, alright? But for the sake of this video, I will actually start uh, with you know like super enhancing okay so most of the time what's really happening is that like what i have actually really seen that like for the cp or let's say the combat power of a dps hero critical rate boost does actually matter a lot okay so higher the critical rate one has the higher the cp one is tend to get okay so that's that that's the case but anyways instead of this gear i have another gear that is pretty amazing uh, i mean like a pretty good already for the super enhancement okay now this one okay so look at it i have actually given this to my fire zeta and you can look uh, that you know like uh, almost it's nearly a perfect gear all right i'm just uh, lacking attack percent is boost the thing is that i am already having critical rate uh, boost critical damage boost and speed boost these all three are actually present over here so uh, okay i can actually go into the super enhancing mode so let's go into the enhance mode and i already have like two dummy gears or let's say uh, fodder gears <laughs> okay that's we can say fodder gear in order to feed to my this one okay but first thing obviously i need to keep that in mind that like after this now i cannot convert okay if i go into super enhance i cannot convert and now when i actually am trying to actually do this okay first thing is Whenever you click a gear or let's say a fodder gear, what happens is that like you are given a choice to choose from your substats which substat are you really willing to improve okay will it, will it be like critical rate boost or critical damage boost or speed boost or accuracy boost okay now obviously i would go with the critical rate boost for now okay and thing is that like there will be a chance to get a further boost up by plus two or plus five percent okay at max plus five percent or at minimum i will be getting at least plus two percent okay so let's say how uh you know like lucky i am over here the thing is that like while you're super enhancing obviously you will be needing some resource materials all right uh, the first resource material you are gonna need is transcending aura which i will be dis discussing a little while a little bit later on how to achieve them okay these are a little bit uh, hard to get but i will show you the way how you get it 
And the next thing is obviously uh, the gold or let's say iron or what, what do you call them? The gold, gold coins. Okay, the gold. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Uh, <coughs> okay, so you will be requiring like seven transcending aura and five hundred thousand or half a million gold, all right? And when you have both of them, now you will be able to super enhance. Okay, I already have like 185 of them, so I really don't have any problem with that one. And I have millions and millions of gold, so I still don't have any problem with that one as well. Okay, so uh, let's do and super enhance it. Okay, and it says, Would you like to super enhance? Super enhanced gear cannot be converted. Choosing a substat that has already been enhanced will cause its value to be re rolled. Now, this is what I'm gonna discuss. Okay, so let's do it right away. Okay, there we go. Super enhance actually looks like that. Okay. And it's only by plus two percent. Okay, maximum would have been plus five percent. And now, right over here, I got very, very unlucky only to get plus two percent. Okay, so that is pretty sad, isn't it? Uh, thing is like that. Okay, so thing is that another, you know, like the gear that I have been using as my photo material now it vanished. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, so that's another warning that I want to give to you guys. If let's say that gear you might want, you might be wanting it to, or you might have been saving it. To equip to like another servant and if you use that one guys that gear is gone okay so now let's try to use this one as well okay now what's gonna happen is that like if I'm gonna click on the crit rate again will it further boost my critical rate stats and I would say no okay it will only just re-roll it's just a re-rolling case scenario right over here right now okay you won't be getting a further boost like let's say uh, I have already like plus two percentage and if I do the same thing will I be getting like plus two percentage plus you know like two to five percentage that would increase it no it's not like that it will just re-roll and if you're lucky you might actually get plus three or plus four or plus five percentage even or maybe you might even actually end up getting the same plus two percentage as well okay so should you be taking really that kind of like uh, you know like i would say risk i would say no please don't do it okay but when i am actually when i will be actually taking it to plus 19 and maybe at that time i would go because the accuracy stat is really not that needed okay meaning like I have like plus four okay I mean like I can super enhance my gear up to like four times right so I am if I'm already done with three then I you know like I, for the last one I can do one more time but instead of that one I can actually reinvest or you know like try out my luck if I if I can get better stats okay so that would be the case scenario okay and now right over here I would just go with the speed stat the another stat that I really love so let's try to super enhance and whenever I try to super enhance says the speed will have a boost of like plus two to plus five percent okay and next thing that you will need to on uh, you also need to notice is that like you know the main stat also increase and this increase is permanent all right you cannot reroll this one okay this is a permanent stat okay and that is pretty amazing so let's try to do the super enhancing and after doing the super enhance boom there we go plus five wow i got pretty lucky right out there okay i got the maximum stat possible okay and now right over here it's maxed out meaning like i cannot re-roll it anymore okay so that's pretty amazing guys that's pretty amazing that's 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 really good isn't it so there you go guys uh this is how it's really done okay uh, meaning like uh, if you are not really satisfied with what you have got you can actually click the same one and you can reroll but beware that it's a very limited choice meaning like a uh, gear can only be super and enhanced like four times okay so you have only four chances to roll or reroll the sub stats you have all right and you can get a very good boost on your main stat okay you also can you also can see over there okay so uh in order to see that one as well in you know like um, you know better view okay whenever i do the enhancement right over here you can see whenever i do that the defense boost is going like further by plus two percentage okay the maximum would have been plus 63 percentage only but if i do the super enhancing it will get a further a plus two percentage depth boost and if i go to critical rate attack and critical damage and depth and whatever that is you know like uh it's gonna permanently increase that kind of thing okay and after that one i won't be able to convert so guys that's how it's really done that's what super enhancing is really about and now what i would really want to say to you guys is okay so how do we get the transcending aura okay obviously gold you know like there are so many guides and so many things out there on how you can actually get a lot of gold but transcending aura can actually be a little bit elusive stuff I mean, like where do you get them okay the best way to actually get them is through missions okay from daily and the weekly mission daily you can <coughs> by just doing 
one party raid okay with clearing one party raid you will get 800 uh, party points okay and by doing the weekly the weekly mission okay by clearing 21 times the party raid you will be getting 2800 okay 2800 party points that's a lot and you might be asking like okay party points what do how you how do i spend it okay so you can actually exchange those party points in here okay so per week you can actually purchase 50 transcending aura guys every week you can purchase up to 50 transcending aura by spending 800 per 10 transcending aura all right so at funds of 40 okay so that's that's about four. 4,000 okay 4,000 party points if you have 4,000 party points it will be enough to purchase like you know like 50 transiting aura another way to another way to get the transiting aura is by spending your honor points 300 uh, honor points will land you like train on transiting aura and it's a limit of like two times per uh, per week okay the thing is not like a severely discourage you guys especially if you are a beginner to go through this way because a skill bond oh my god this is the one that you should always aim to get okay and if you have access of you know like uh, this uh, honor points then please go with the instant awaken okay and these are the two items that you should go with but if you are also trying to build up like let's say fire and knock or let's say charlotte or any sort of like forest dynamic dps healer or whatever that is servant then you can purchase this one as well which is known as the mini skill burn okay so this is how you should be using or utilizing your honor points uh party rate this is the best offer i can get actually this is really really good guys very easy to earn and very easy to invest guys this is the best way to actually use your party points as well and you might be asking like okay that is the thing and how what is the another way to do the or, or let's say get the transcending aura okay now the another way to get the transcending aura is by going to the party raid itself all right if you keep on playing the party raid there is a certain chance depending upon the floor okay meaning like you know <coughs> so depending upon <coughs> or depending on the uh, floor okay you will be getting the transcending aura okay i'm mean, like the number of transcending aura is dependent upon the number of floor that you complete like let's say the first floor will only land you a uh, like one times okay one transcending aura whereas second third and fourth floor okay i think second and third floor will land you the two transcending aura and fourth floor will give you three transcending aura or like in that in pattern okay so if you can compete on the higher uh party rate floors then you will be able to get a higher transiting aura but thing is that like it is also in the random case scenario meaning like you won't be getting like it like, like every battle clearance okay it's a it's a it's a random gift or let's say it's a random reward okay <clears throat> and you will get like two of the rewards at a time of this one so i think there is about like 30 to 40 percent chance that it will show up okay so if it, do, if it doesn't show up don't be sad uh, uh, it will does it will do show up you keep on you know like completing this one and then like obviously you know like in turn you will also be able to finish this uh, you know this weekly thing right over here and get these party points and exchange them for the transcending aura and another way to get the transcending aura is from the boss invasion okay if you do it every day and you if you are able to complete it from the daily rewards okay it's not really that much it's just a little okay and you'll get uh, one transcending aura plus uh, three okay plus two that would be a total of three transcending aura every day okay if you are able to complete this one within the indicated time below okay <laughs> within the indicated time then you will be able to get those kind of things and also you can actually get legendary gear tickets from here as well not tickets i mean like it's 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 already a random thing okay you are not allowed to choose from here uh, but they do provide okay and then you can actually use these gears okay if they actually do match you can use them as the fodder material for your main gear okay so this can actually be a really good place for you to farm the epic or the legendary gears as well because it actually does guarantee you but thing is that like you will need to have a very strong strong team guys okay so that's what it is that's what it is okay so and the uh, gold obviously i have got so many other like you know like tutorial uh, guides on how to get golds okay you so you really don't need to worry about that one no problem about that one it's just about the transiting aura okay uh so yes guys uh in summary okay first thing first uh the gear needs to be of at least uh rare uh, and like at least of the epic or the legendary Epic or legendary referring to the base grade. So this one is epic and this one is legendary. Okay, you just need to see that letter over there. Okay, legendary epic. If you have like this kind of gear, like let's say which says rare, no, no, not possible guys, not possible, rare, not possible. And they need to uh, need to be of like 
six star grade okay uh, right now this one possible because it is a six star but this one not possible okay uh, because like it's only a five, five star okay now that's 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 a big problem as well and next thing is that like they need to be having the same main stat okay the material gear needs to be of the same stat or else they will not show up okay and the next thing is that like they needs to be of the same gear part okay you cannot use the weapon to fit it to the necklace okay or let's say a glove to fit it to a ring you need to get a ring to fit to a ring in order to super enhance it okay and super enhance really does provide a humongous or a very great stat boost okay because like critical damage boost would have only been up to like 80 percent i guess and uh, at plus 15 but when you actually take it up to like plus 19 it will go up to like plus 100 percent that is a humongous okay that is a humongous uh, sort of like you know like you know like uh, critical damage boost okay so that is amazing guys that's really amazing okay <laughs> you can see another gear so that's how it is guys uh, super enhance is pretty easy pretty awesome pretty amazing only thing that you might actually be requiring or limiting factor is that like how to get other critical you know like <laughs> uh, gears of the like legendary tier or let's say the rare uh, the epic tier okay please try to go into the dungeons okay uh, you can go into the dungeon and uh, right over here you can go to the gear dungeon and in the omens void or eats void the best way to get the legendary or the epic gear grid is from the 12th floor if you can actually do this as soon as possible it's really recommended for you to do that okay it's void 12th floor is actually astonishingly surprisingly easy compared to that of omens void 12th floor okay so uh please give it a try you might actually you might be actually be able to complete it all right and omens void 12f is a pretty much a little bit hard but if you can do it you, know, you can actually you can, you can actually complete it as well keep on doing it and try to get those legendary epic gears for your fathers and then you will be able to get to super enhance and after you super enhance your uh, servants then obviously they will skyrocket in their CP and they will be able to perform really really amazing in the game so this is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel please let me know in the comment section below if I have actually missed out on some contents which I think I have not so far <laughs> but if I have done or if I made some mistake please let please correct me in the comment section below alright so see you guys in the next video